Hello everyone. So I thought that now that we're just a little ways into the new year, I would make a video about goal setting sessions. And before I even begin to talk about individual skills, I had two successes in 2023. I got um, very good at editing video and I read over a hundred books, which was way more than my original target. And I thought I might offer some advice. So the most important thing to remember about a goal and you know, yeah, okay, you can call it the new year's resolution if you want, is it should be obtainable. And what that means is it's far better to set a very, a humble goal and actually succeed than it is to set an over the top goal that you're not going to reach. So what are some of the ways going into 2024 uh, that you can accomplish a goal, so to speak? Uh, you know, um, a lot of it is, is trying to figure out how, you know, learn how to learn in other words. And for that, there are sort of four things that you can do these days. Um, now, first, I'd like to talk of through the lens um, of video editing. You know me, I'm into technology, video editing, and books. So everything I, I say is kind of through that filter. And, you know, uh, me and my brother both wanted to learn video editing. You know, my brother, Sean, and we did it in radically different ways, which I think reflects our personalities. Me, I very slavishly gave myself a schedule and said I'm going to do this many videos per week, come hell or high water. And within six months, I would say I learned most of what um, I needed to learn and could finally call myself a pretty good video editor. I was self-taught. I did nothing but, you know, online tutorials, most of that through YouTube. My brother Sean, on the other hand, took about three years to get a certificate from a local community college. And uh, there are advantages or disadvantages to either one. You know, uh, me, I did not spend a single dime to learn what I learned. And the video editor I used came free with the computer I own. So there's that. Now the downside is, is I don't have any mentors. Remember, I did not become a video editor to make money off of video editing. Although if I can do that, that's great. I did it to showcase my skills for uh, potential or prospective employers. Now, even though my brother Sean spent more of his money to learn his skills, uh, he was, as I said, he did it over three years, you know, again, befitting the difference between our personalities. He's, you know, um, enjoy the journey, not necessarily the destination. He has people who are mentors. I can't claim that. And the institute he, grew at, he got his certificate from, they pride themselves on having their students hit the ground running. He was getting work almost immediately. In fact, for all I know, he probably got some work before he even completed the certificate. I actually do know and have worked with people uh, from the media lab that, he, that that institute uses, and that in turn probably was used by my brother Sean at some point. So there's that. Now, so those are two, self-taught and of course, Formal education is a degree or certificate from an institute of higher education. Now I know right away some people are not going to have the will to be self-taught and other people it's just not an option to go back to college. And let's face it, if, you're, if we're talking about a degree here, so many of your courses are not germane to what you want to do in life and they do take your money and they do leave you in debt and, we, and we're yet to figure out a good solution to that. That's just how it is. Well, there are two alternatives to those methods. Um, one are what I call sort of intermediate things because let's admit it, I know a lot of people out there who you can download free modules but unless they pay, 
You know, they need to have skin in the game, and this puts skin in the game, you know. It's kind of why free gyms that city centers have are rarely ever packed, but pro ones are. You're putting skin in the game, the more you go to those gyms, the, uh, how should I put it, the less you're paying per month, at least that's how I used to justify going all the time. So yeah, I understand people who say I need skin in the game. So, uh, there are several websites that do just that that will give you tutorials. Um, there's learning sites like, okay, Skillshare is a very good example of that. Uh, Code Academy, if you wanna learn anything with computers is a good example of that. Oh, also too, Code Academy falls into what I like to call the freemium uh, learning websites. And that is that you can do several free modules and then decide to upgrade to pro. Um, I'm gonna just throw this uh, graphic up here you know you you can see cybraries in the same vein there and then there's the massive online open courses so sort of abbreviated MOOC which I call MOOC I'm not sure if that's like proper terminology but it's it's what I use and uh, these are courses sometimes affiliated with actual colleges and you know, sometimes uh, not. So you know, you're thinking like uh, Udemy, I think I had edX up there. Uh, a big one is Coursera. So um, I think there's Udacity. So there's a bunch that you can go to. Now the fourth option is kind of an option you don't, we don't really talk about much here in America, but that's finding a mentor, you know. Um, some subcultures like ham radio operators, for example, there's the, you know, the Almering it's called. And that's, you know, taking a, a sort of somebody under your wing and teaching them your particular skill or passion or sub skill. All in all in America, you know, mentorships or apprenticeships aren't really a thing probably because of a uh, decline in community. You know, it, uh, it is what it is. But uh, I was introduced to uh, human trafficking, a field I do constant research on, by my mentor, David Manville. You know, I never took a single course in human trafficking, but yet I know a lot about it. Now, granted, I do have uh, a graduate degree, which means, you know, I can study, but, and I, you know, used that as an excuse to do several human trafficking projects. But I've never taken an actual official uh, course or even gone through an actual workshop with human trafficking. It all started with my mentorship with David Manville. And then out of that, you know, came just me hitting the books. So, you know, that can be a bit of a hybrid there. Now, you should look at things in your life that are unproductive counterproductive and possibly even self-destructive that are going to, you know, impede your goals. You know, what are some things you do that are time wasting? Uh, do you play video games too much? You know, you, 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 are you that person who's on a video game and then you look up and it's, it's not noon, it's now like uh, 3 p.m. or something like that? That happens to um, a lot of people. Um, what are you doing that's maybe counterproductive? You know, are you somebody who has that goal to go to the gym to get in shape, but you're, you know, you're not really following up on the dieting end or something like that? Uh, you know, or maybe you're still like a raging smoker. Um, do you spend too much of your money at the bar? You know, I'm a veteran. It's almost like my second church. Uh, I imagine a lot of people are in that same vein, you know. Um, and I would say, do you maybe even have some something you're doing that's self-destructive? Uh, and, and this is something that maybe could cause you some, some serious harm. Uh, I can't think off the top of my head what that might be other than, like I said, maybe those things such as gaming, uh, alcohol, or smoking, taking to, you know, access. Um, or, you know, maybe you do have that goal of going to the gym, 
but you know you yo-yo you'll have weeks where you won't go and then you'll have that weekend where you push yourself too hard possibly injure yourself so you know look at all these all these things and you know uh, judge yourself accordingly I think we'll all find that we all have things that are at least unproductive and counterproductive that we do you know um, if anything it's maybe you know putting off learning something in favor of researching what's the right thing to learn and uh, stuff like that and again it's best to start humble you know uh, some people I've had several conversations that go this way you know somebody says hey I want to read more books this year and uh, you're the, you're a big book guy so you know what's what's a good go I said well go for one a month and they're always shocked that I sh say they should start that low and I'll ask them how many books they read last year and they'll start giving me the excuses you know well last year was a particularly busy year I had both a career change and I had a move and eventually they circle to I didn't read any books last year okay so 12 is actually a heck of a goal for you then you know uh, 12 and 52 are good numbers to keep in mind because you let's face you know 12 months in a year 52 weeks you know if if you want to if you have a goal for something and you're not doing it at least 12 times a year I gotta wonder if is your heart really in it it probably isn't and you need to you know set a different goal or something like that either way um, that's going to be um, my wisdom going into the new year also the one last thing I want to touch upon is certainly I fall into this category I am going to show you this feedback loop here yeah has this ever been you do you ever avoid something simply because it's time consuming and it's let's face it it's time consuming because you put it off to the last minute you know um, a lot of people are like this I'm certainly like this with statistics one of the reasons why I used to not like it and video editing because it was time consuming because whenever I did it I had to relearn it because I fell out of practice with it you know and uh, this year when I started or I'm sorry last year when I started video editing I did not like it I did not think I would have post as many videos as I did but I got good at it and I got into practice anything can become habit anything